With your look around the Air Force, I'm Airman First Class Garrett Hess. Electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle technology is the focus of the Agility Prime program. It falls under AFWORKS, the Air Force's effort to foster innovation with new entrepreneurs. Agility Prime is the first program in AFWORKS working to rapidly drive affordable capabilities and technology into the field. Now, Air Education and Training Command, working with Agility Prime, established a new detachment to train and certify airmen to operate what they're calling Advanced Air Mobility Vehicles. Detachment 62 will train a new class of aero vehicle operators. They hope to have basic skills training ready by 2023. The first F-35 unit from Pacific Air Forces completed a weapon system evaluation program with live fire air-to-air -air weapons. The 356 Fighter Squadron from Allison Air Force Base, Alaska, went to Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida for the eval. Nine live missiles were fired, and the pilots were able to shoot the F-35's 25mm cannon for the first time. It's a milestone for the 356, as it moves toward becoming the first F-35 squadron in the Indo-Pacific to reach initial operational capability. The program also gathers information on how the F-35 performs, which goes toward improving weapon systems. The Air Force Reserve's 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, known as the Hurricane Hunters, are testing new technology that allows satellite transmission of more real-time information while they're in the air. The upgrade includes the ability for storm trackers on the ground to see high-definition video of radar footage as the Hurricane Hunters fly through storms. It's a leap forward from the current method of gathering storm information and transmitting it in bursts. Sending real-time radar images from inside a hurricane will benefit officials on the ground when issuing watches and warnings. Compatibility testing of the system is complete. The next step is to test the satellite system in an actual storm. And that's your look around the Air Force.